CB Radio Show and Tell. I'm number one, and you are Wiz. The Wiz. The Wiz, Wiz Kid. Wizard. Wizard 88. <laughs> All right. So, Wizard 88. Today, we are going to do CB Radio Story Time. You know what Story Time is? It's where you tell a story about I tell your past you, life. No, no, yeah, not my past, <laughs> past life. <laughs> this life. All right. So, we're going to do a story about CB Radios. And here's how it goes there was a CB shop years ago, local Detroit area here. Yeah. And I went to that CB shop. Are you looking at yourself up there? Yeah. You wave to yourself. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sit up tall. These people can't see you. All right. So, back in the day, I go to the CB shop. Just like anybody else. You, oh, man, I want to be loud. I want to be heard. I want to be worldwide, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I go to the shop. You know there was this wizard in the back room, right? Remember the guy that would tweak up your radio sure. with a... With the golden screwdriver. You, did there? you realize you get gypped before that? Yeah, no, this was, yes. I did get, this is the same shop that I told you the story about before that I went to. When he moved it, just And the guy, inch. the guy tweaked the, the screw in my radio and made it talk. And then I went out to the car and then it didn't talk as good as the radio that I just <laughs> had. The same, same shop. Why would you Not, still go back there? See, Nine years old, no, 11 years old, and, and you've got brain power more than I did back then because I was so stupid. I went right back to the same store. And I'm sure some of these other guys coming into the hobby have done the same exact thing. You get ripped off, and then you're too stupid to think, I just got ripped off. But you think, well, maybe he made a mistake and, and ripped me off accidentally, right? No. Not right. He probably ripped me off on purpose. Yeah. All right. So I go back to the same place. The wizard is still behind the curtain. The guy that's got the magical screwdriver that turns my radio off, right? Yeah. Okay. So I go by there. I go into the shop. I'm like, man, what do I got to get? You know, you got all this cool CV stuff around. Do you got anything that can make me louder? I hear these other guys on the radio and they're wicked cool loud, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know what he tells me he has? An amplifier. An amplifier. Wow, He's like, I got it. If you really want to be loud, you got to have a linear amplifier. You got to be worldwide. What's That's, a linear amplifier? Okay, it's, it's okay. Let me explain because new people aren't going to know. You've got a radio, and the radio has to be turned down to two watts for the most part, yeah. and then it powers your signal goes out of the back of the antenna, and it goes into a box. Let's pretend yeah, this like radio this. behind like, here is a box. Like right there. It goes mm -hmm. into that box. And it multiplies your signal by like, two? say if you were doing two watts, it would give you 200 watts. And then that goes out the antenna and now you're way stronger than what you were with four watts or two watts, right? Yeah. So I go to the wizard behind the curtain. I'm like, dude, I need something that's louder. Was so, it like the same guy who did? No, oh, same golden screwdriver. Moved it just an inch. Yeah, he just tweaked it just a hair, and he told me I was going to be great. And you lose like, another 400 bucks? No, 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 I didn't lose the 400 bucks on this. This story gets even better. So, the owner of the store comes to me and says, Well, you know, let me tell you, buddy. This is not legal for you to have this little amplifier. So, I'd have to do it after the store closes. How shady does that sound? Sounds, Does that sound shady? That sounds like... Sounds shady, don't it? Yeah, it sounds All right, like so he's, something down he in says, Detroit. He says, I'm going to sell you this... He's, I'm going to sell you this amplifier, and it's not legal. So, okay, everybody in the brother knows you're going to buy an amplifier for CB. They all do it. Everybody does it. Sooner or later, you're going to want more power, and that's what happens. All right, so it gets even worse. Dude behind the curtain, magic screwdriver guy, says to me... Don't buy his amplifier. Come over my house after work. I've got one that's even better for a better deal. Does it sound shady? Sounds even like sounds, sounds like, like double shady. It sounds like a bar, and then like two like giant men come up to you. Hey, you want something? Yeah, bad? something bad. All right. So, so what do you do when you're in the store and you're thinking I need more power, right? Mm -hmm. you see, there goes the air conditioner. It's gonna get cold in here. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, your you, you're in a dilemma now. Do you buy the, the one from the store after the store is closed? Or do you drive 40 miles to get to this guy's house and then pick it up in the middle of the night? Sounds kind of creepy, don't it? Sounds like a murder. Like, <laughs> like something's going to murder. Sounds like something bad, don't it? Yeah. All right. So, what did I do? Go to the guy's house. I went to the guy's house. So, Why didn't, did you tell, oh, no, no, like, did you tell my, a grandma? No, you did, everybody knows this. They, just trust me. So I go to the guy's house. I take the option B. I go to the Golden Wizard because 
he's the guy that knows how to tweak radio, so he's going to hook me up, Wait, right? how old were you then? I was probably 17, 18, maybe 17. So like two years after the incident? Yeah, no, it was probably yeah, it was probably a year after I got burned by the radio guy. All right, so I go into the, the dude's house. He's got radios everywhere. Like, dude, hundreds of radios, like, everywhere. Just this room full of broken radios. And I'm like, wow, this guy must really know what he's doing. Because he's got piles of broken radios. Broken. Does it, yeah, broken. Still, broken. Doesn't, <laughs> still doesn't register in the old noggin, right? So I, I'm like, dude, can you show me this amplifier? And he's like, yeah, check it out. So what's he, <laughs> what's he pull out for me? He pulls out this gigantic, rusty, crusty-looking tube mobile amp. It's so bad. All right, so what do I do? You buy it. I buy it. Look at the camera. They're looking for you. All right, so I buy it for... I don't know. Let's just say it was 150 bucks. Now, back in the day, that was a lot of money. That is a lot of money That's, now. I mean, back in the day, that was like stupid money. So I buy it for the 150 bucks, and I said, "He says, well, you've got to keep it on something that's not." It's there's somebody writing me on this here. Hold on a minute. We got to fix my phone. There we go. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> messages are from CB Radio Show and Tell. That looks like Ronnie Hendricks sending me a message. Yeah, I All right. So. We buy the amplifier. I take it. I go out. First, he shows me it works. Yeah. He turns it on. It glows because it's got tubes in it. Tubes, and then it, he yeah. talks on it. It's doing maybe 250 watts, something like that. So I go to put it in my car, not realizing that he didn't tell me that I had to put it on something to keep the carpet from burning. How fun is that? <laughs> Did you See, burn your whole car? Yeah, no, no, I didn't burn a whole car, but I, just some I it? singed the carpet in the back where I mounted this big tube amplifier, not not knowing that this was going to destroy my alternator and fry my battery. So I used this thing for about two days, and then I tried to sell it. Do you know who wants a tube mobile amp? Who? Nobody wants a tube mobile amp because unless it's somebody that's running a big setup like the guys that run the big power setups like the big suburbans yeah. and the big vans where they have room but the normal guy that's got a little car like i had a little car at the time a little cordoba like a festiva oh no i had a little cordoba but there was like no room in the back seat so anybody that has a normal size car there were solid state amps out like not tube ones so nobody wants this tube amp so not only did i get Gypped. Gypped. I got. I bought a product that was obsolete. Nobody wanted anymore. Overpriced. Obsolete. What about the guy at the shop? The guy at the shop seen me coming again for another <laughs> another adventure. I'll tell you other stories about that shop later on. I. We all have CB radio s stories. What was but the name this, of the shop? K40 Electronics was the name of the shop. I thought it was like Radio Shack. No, it was K40 Electronics, and it K40 used to produce antennas at one point that was a manufacturer mm -hmm. so i'm sure they paid franchise to use their name but man that was so bad i bought that product so beware what you're buying when you go to a cb radio shop or you're looking to buy something do your research do your deal dil, dil, dil oh my god i can't get it out do your diligent looking at what you're gonna buy yeah because, don't go to the same shop once oh my they god jip you. if you jip you once they're gonna jip you again so don't go back to that place if you are buying something off the internet you better be careful who you're buying from because we can tell you firsthand if you buy something you, no, don't you know, can tell them firsthand yeah, you that don't, i had no issues yeah, with that you don't know what you're gonna get in the mail let's say you buy i heard a story about a guy what was this like maybe a year or two ago he ordered a radio from a guy on the internet, and you know what he got in the mail? A teddy bear. No, he didn't get a teddy bear. Worse. You know what he got in the mail? A crumb. No, but you're close. He got a box of pancake mix. He, somebody sent it so it would feel like there's a CB in the box. So when he gets the box and he opens it, he's all excited he's going to get the radio, and he got a box of pancake mix. Can you imagine oh, how mad yeah. you'd be if you think you're getting a $300 radio, oh, and you got a box suck. of pancake mix? What do you think yeah. of that one? You, why didn't he go up to the guy There's, and say, Because like, it's on the internet. You don't know where you just sent your money to some guy far away, and now your money's long gone. You don't know this guy on the internet. You sent your money to him. 
and you got a box of pancake mix, and guess what he's doing? That's Partying scary. it up with your $300. Yeah, he's scary. going to casino pulling the slot machine. Like two times. That's no, 300 bucks, he's going to get a pretty good amount of pulls. He just hit the lottery just by sending you a box of pancake mix. <laughs> so you got to be aware of what people are going to do to you with CB Radio. I have guys that ask me all the time, what do you think of this guy? What do you think of that guy? I don't deal on the internet. It's very seldom do I buy something off the internet that's not through a business or somebody that's reputable or somebody that I know has dealings with people and has a good reputation. I wouldn't advise sending your money to somebody far away. Yeah. For no reason because you don't know what you're going to get. If you'll get anything at all, you may get ripped right off. Like you may send guy. your money to this guy through PayPal, right? Mm -hmm. So, hey, I send you my money. And then I'm waiting for my radio, and you decide you're not going to send me anything, and you just take my money. You can't do anything. You don't know. Yeah. You know, the guy might be across the country, right? <laughs> yeah. If I was we don't want to see you get ripped off on CB radio, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So what do you got to tell them? Be cool. Have a good day. Be special. And, yeah. Be special. And yeah. How about thanks for sharing this time? This is 11 minutes of us rambling. <laughs> yeah. CB story time. Stay tuned. We got a lot more cool stuff coming up. Be cool. Peace out.